What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how the new raid perk bait and switch works and discuss why I think it is very good and high-end content. So first off, what is bait and switch? It is a damage dealing perk that can roll on any of the new raid weapons and it states, deal damage with all equipped weapons within a short time to give this weapon a damage boost. Now, before we go any further, this is very clearly not a PvP perk, as the majority of the time you don't have heavy ammo, so it is impossible to ever proc. So if you are looking at this from a PvP perspective, it is probably the worst perk you could get. But what about for PvE? Well, let's look at it. On this last sector boss, my initial shot hits for 58,356 damage. I then deal damage with my other two weapons, and then it hits for 70,027 damage. This is a 20% damage increase to the weapon. So on something like Cataclysmic, that is 10% more of a damage buff than something like Vorpal Weapon, which now only gives a 10% damage increase on heavy weapons. Frenzy is 15%. One for all is 35%, but in most cases that is not realistic to pull off in something like a damage phase. So that buff is pretty decent. Firing Line is 20% as well, but that does not work in something like Solo Lost Sectors. If you are a fan of the channel, you may have seen my video breaking down the new damage perk Focused Fury. Well, this perk also rolls on Cataclysmic, and it also gives a 20% damage boost. So this is a great one to compare to. This perk states dealing half of the magazine as precision damage grants this weapon bonus damage. The shot count is reset whenever the weapon is reloaded or stowed. Another good point of comparison is that both of these perks last for 10 seconds. The timer on screen says 9, but it does stick around for the final second at 0, so you do get it for 10 seconds. So let's talk about why, in many cases, Bait and Switch is actually better than Focus Fury. First off is Ease of Use. You just have to deal a little bit of damage with each weapon, and then boom, it procs. This damage doesn't even have to be on the same target. As you can see in this clip, I shoot a Hobgoblin with the Linear Fusion Rifle, swap to my Hand Cannon to stun the Unstoppable, and then shoot it with my Special Weapon. From there, I can pull out the Linear Fusion Rifle, and right off the bat, I have a 20% damage boost. Where with a Focus Fury roll, I would have to land 3 precision hits just to get that weapon damage boost, and even then, after 3 shots, the champion will either be dead in lower end content, or coming out of its stun, and you will have to stow the weapon and re-stun it anyways in higher tier content. So you cannot take advantage of Focus Fury that often in general gameplay. But that is where Bait and Switch shines. Because in general gameplay, you are often just dealing damage with all your weapons, so then you're just passively getting a 20% damage boost. I have the god roll Cataclysmic with 4th times the charm and Focus Fury, and on a boss encounter like Ralk or Templar, then you want Focus Fury all day long. The reason for that is because you are probably shooting at a div bubble or the giant crit on Templar, so it will be easy to proc. The other benefits is that it can reproc on itself, so once you have Focus Fury, if you keep hitting shots, then it will reproc every time you deal half of the magazine as precision damage. That is the downside of bait and switch. It does not reproc itself. You have to wait until the timer goes away before you can reproc it. So in damage phases, that is a bit of a problem. But on champions, it is not a big deal at all. A 10 second duration is more than enough time to melt a champion. So one weapon that I love is the exotic grenade launcher Wither Horde, and this weapon pairs perfectly with this. You could shoot an enemy with a Wither Horde, deal a bit of primary damage, and then start going to town with bait and switch. I really think this is a top tier perk for content with champions just because of how the perk works. You have to stun a champ in some way anyways, and that's usually with a primary. So you are already dealing damage with one of your weapons. So then you would just have to mix in damage from one other weapon before getting your buff. I mentioned earlier that this perk rolls on all the raid weapons. Another combination I have been loving lately is the new raid SMG with Forbearance and Parasite. I swap weapons a lot in that loadout, so I could have an incredibly high uptime on bait and switch on the SMG with that loadout as well. I don't have that SMG with bait and switch however, but it's just an example. The pulse rifle Insidious, again, you could pair it with Wither Horde and a rocket launcher, stun an unstoppable, shoot a Wither Horde then a rocket to take out the unstoppable, and then go back to slaying enemies, but this time you have a 20% damage boost on your pulse rifle for 10 seconds. So it can certainly be good on other weapons as well, but I think it shines brightest on Cataclysmic. On primaries, things like One for All or Frenzy can have super high uptime. On specials, you really only have Lubre's Ruin and Forbearance, and you want Chain Reaction on Forbearance way over Bait and Switch. So again, I think this perk is best on Cataclysmic, especially for the use cases I mentioned. 
It's honestly perfect for champions. It just lends itself to the exact playstyles that champions impose on us. Stun with one weapon, deal damage with another. I don't know the exact time you have to deal with each weapon, but in the one clip, I kill the hobgoblin, then have to wait for the unstoppable shot to charge, shoot the unstop, hit it with my GL, and then I swap back to my heavy and the perk is active. So it definitely has some forgiveness there. Anyways, that is it for the video. I just wanted to break down the use case for bait and switch because I almost dismantled this weapon because I already had 4th times focus fury. But I have used this in a few lost sectors now and it is awesome, especially with solar burn. And with GMs around the corner, I think this thing could be really great, especially with 4th times the charm, just in terms of ammo economy. If you made it this far in the video, then I thank you so much for watching. And if this video helped you out, then a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Take care, Guardians.